Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Retro. And today we're going to show you and talk about our latest pickups. We don't do pickups. So yes, we don't normally do pickups, do we, James, on this channel? No, but we have decided we're going to because we were asked to. Yeah, we had a few people say, why don't you ever show us your pickups? So we thought, why not? So we thought at the end of every month, the last video we'll do will be all our pickups that we picked up during that month. So um, who's going to start with the... With I'll the start then you start? Yeah, okay. go ahead. Let's have right. a look, see what you've been picking up. Okay, some random stuff today. This is Lucky Dine Caper on the Master System. I had this years ago, but as you always do, you get rid of your games. And this was about three quid delivered on eBay. Three quid, that was a bit of a It's bargain. brilliant, yeah. Has it got a manual? Uh, oh, let's have a look. You don't know that it's got a manual? It's a good case though. No, it's no manual. manual. So three quid, not bad I suppose. Can't, it's alright. And uh, yeah, that's one of the games I want to get in my system. Um, System, back in my collection. I have not uh, played this in a long time. Not got many Master System games, so that's uh, part of my collection I need to expand. So there may be some Master System coming up for me on a future episode of pickups. Can't complain about the price though, and the case is fine apart from the flap. Uh, yeah, the, the little hanging thing, but yeah, the hanging people box. cut them off. But that's why me up when you get a case and it's, they fold in. You ever had that? Oh, yeah, they, they fold right in. That winds me. So I'm not too worried that the manual's missing because the artwork's fine and the <coughs> case is good. Yeah, right. That's the so, first one. Yeah, my first pickup is a game that I've been wanting to get back into my collection for absolutely ages. And I've been looking for this for about probably, ooh, probably a good 15 weeks or so, maybe even 20 weeks. Wow. Um, I could find the Kicks, Kicks version. You remember it used to be the sort of cheapo version of Games Command oh, on the, budget, the budget Kicks range. label, yeah. yeah. Uh, you could find it on that quite easily, but actually finding the big box or normal version, and that is Speedball 2. It seems to be quite hard to find for some reason. That's on the Amiga. And that's on the Amiga, yeah. Um, this box isn't perfect, but these boxes, you know, they didn't last very long, but it's not bad. When you said big box, I was thinking... Well, no, not huge, but, yeah. but you obviously, obviously you've got some Amiga games which are in slightly... They all seem to come in different size boxes yeah. on the Amiga. They didn't have like a it's uniform size. Floor, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, some even come in like the little cassette cases, didn't they? Almost mm. like the double cassette cases. Yeah, Shadow of the Beast and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Speedball 2 by the Bitmap Brothers. Really loved this game when it first came out. Played it to death on my Amiga. Uh, I've been wanting to get it back in my collection. I'm really glad I have now. Uh, it wasn't cheap, plus it'd been hard to find. It was about 30 quid, I think. So Have you tested it yet? Uh, I haven't tested oh, it yet, yeah. actually. Yeah. But, <laughs> That's uh, the trouble when you buy... Especially with disc games. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Um, but I wouldn't... I know a lot of money if it doesn't work, but I've, I've got it on the, on my memory card that I've got on the on the Amiga anyway, so it uh, wouldn't be the end of the world. Just to have a physical copy would be mm. sort of great. So that's the disc. And it also came with the... Uh, First of all, wow, the, what's that? The coaching, so, coaching manual, as they <laughs> called it. That's brilliant. Yeah, and also the program, just like this little souvenir program mock up thing they did. Oh, this is, um, is uh, released by Imageworks. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hey, that's brilliant. So, yeah, really good to have that back in my collection. I'll tell you what you can get if you're worried about these. You can get these little plastic Perspex cases. I think they're similar size to like, do you remember these calendar holders you used to get oh, right, as yeah, gifts? It was yeah, like a yeah. case and it opened, it was like a floppy disc case. <coughs> yeah. But yeah, you could, oh, right. if you I'm wanted to, see. you could put that in. Yeah. Get one of those. So what have you got there? banging around in the box. Yeah. Okay. I suppose it's going to go on the shelf soon, so. Yeah. That's it. Uh, next up, for me, oh, this is a boring game. It's, everyone's going, oh, it's boring, what did you buy that for? But I did anyway, because it's another one off the list. Sega Chess. All right, so it's the Master System. I've never played it. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's chess. This time you have got the tab, though. So yeah, that's, good. No, that's it. How about very, manual? If you check, see so you got a manual? Or what is it with you and manuals? Well, it's got to be complete, box complete. That's the. There's no manual. No manual. No, but I kind of know how to play chess. But, you know, you, you can't, I suppose if you're a complete. Like yeah, you want to buy it without the money. You never know, I might come across the manual somewhere sometime, maybe never. Yeah, that. Sega Chess. So much of that one, is that cheap? cheap that thing? was less than, I think about 350 something like that. Cheapskate 
for me. But yeah, it was another one. I've got a list I got online, um, and it's got all the Mass System games, and I just it's the little checklist I got stuck on the wall. And um, when I see one that comes up that, that's cheap, I thought, you know, it's another one off the list, and it's good condition, and it, it, this, this is eBay. So, yeah, the seller was spot on. It's, uh, it's great. And th when they posted it, they posted it flat. So the guy obviously posts a loadout. He sent it like that. And by doing that, it actually made it um, come under large layer, so it's cheaper for him for the the posting. Villain, it yeah. did, yeah. So it means I didn't have to... Well, we're going up That's the post quite a good idea, isn't it, actually? And queue up to get it. But yeah, so that was a good idea. And it I th it was in a big jiffy bag. Can't fault it for 350 I mean, the guy obviously didn't make anything on it or hardly anything, but yeah. it's great. It's good. Another one off the list. Crap game, but bargain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I, I tell you what, if I don't use the, if I don't, I might use the case. Yeah, yeah. Swap, I could swap the case, couldn't I? That's not bad. That, yeah. So uh, my next pickup is on the original PlayStation, um, want to go back and start collecting for that. Lots of people are starting to collect for that now. I think that's mm. going to be the next big thing it's going to collect for. Um, as a result, the prices are starting to rise on PlayStation games, uh, especially the most popular ones. Um, and uh, these are two of the uh, games that I've been wanting to get back in my collection. I had them at one time. For some reason, the PlayStation was when the only consoles actually seemed to trade games in for at the end of the day. I don't know. Whether I was skinny at the time in those days or what, I don't know why. Whether I just didn't think I was going to be collecting anymore. But all my other consoles, I seem to keep most of my games, but PlayStation seemed to trade them in. And I got two of these on eBay. These two come together as a set. And it's Crash Bandicoot 2 and uh, Crash Bandicoot of course, 3. Walk. That's going to be a new one, isn't it? And of course, yeah, the new one's coming Action. out. I think it's out very soon as we're making this video. So price of those will go up even more. Go up even more. And I think this was twenty quid for the two, so I think it was about you know, so about ten or each, yeah, which isn't bad because they can go for up to about twenty quid mm. each on their own. These and you know, I've got the first one. I kept the first one for some reason in my collection, um, and that's well, like a ridiculous price now. Already sort of thirty to forty quid. So yeah, cases are right. Yeah, the cases aren't too bad. They're got all the right. manuals, yeah, I guess. Got the manuals. Yeah, luckily people, because it's a plastic case, people kept the manuals, didn't they? Yeah. For PlayStation manuals, discs are fine. Everything's new enough. They're pretty, pretty mint. Good. So yeah, please have those back in my collection. I am. Um, I prefer those type cases. Yeah. Than those. Yeah. I don't know. I think they're those... a tiny bit smaller. They are. They which are. is which is good for the shelf, but um. Yeah, I don't know why I some games came out of those. I don't know whether yeah. they ran out of those or something. Mm, could or be. Like. Or a different company made them. Maybe, yeah. Maybe they're cheaper. So yeah, anyway, so I got to have those back in my collection. Cool, two Crash games. Yeah. Can't go wrong there. No. It's a bit better than Sega Chess. <laughs> yeah, but I paid a lot more for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, next up we have another Master System game. It's not all Master System, I promise, but Gamer Geek World would be like, Ooh, look at Master System. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. This is... Arcade Smash Hits for the Sega Master System. Now you might be thinking, what kind of case is this in? It well, isn't. this is a car only, and it was a couple of quid. Um, delivered, there's the car, no manual. So you made the case, did you? Like yeah, so case. these are, I know I always go on about artwork and cases. These are what's called 28 way, not 28 way, that'd be massive. <laughs> Eight-way DVD cases. So it's sort of like a DVD box set, really, then, is it? Yeah. So yeah. So if you yeah, I kind know of Game of Thrones or whatever's whatever's popular. My Little Pony, or complete collection. <laughs> well, I don't have it, but maybe there is one that takes eight. And they have these little plastic flaps, and they you must have seen them. They they flap about yeah. like a flap. And um, so what you do is you pull them out, and then you print your artwork like that. On some nice glossy paper, and then that goes in there. And if you don't wreck it, and then that that goes on the shelf, and it's similar to the same size as the um, Master System cases. So maybe I might swap them over. I don't know, but yeah, there's a there's I say similar, yeah. but I mean these are cheap. These so are, what games come on that? Is it? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, there's an Arkanoid, uh, Missile Command, oh, Bash Bricks, oh, Breakout, sorry. Bash Bricks with Breakout. 
eradicate a golden eradicate a garden full of mutant insects in centipede so there's breakout there's an updated missile command so although it's arcade smash hits it's really only two games oh three classic games and the pictures are tiny but there's a hips and hints and tips hotline if I get stuck. Yeah, that's but handy yeah. then. That's just, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they'll be waiting there for your they phone will, call yeah. as we speak. This is an O2 number, so I'm sure that's still valid. Not. Okay, so going on, and again, uh, PlayStation, and uh, it's two games again uh, that came in a bundle. Uh, again on eBay, all my, all my buys are from eBay. Um, I don't Get out to the boot sales like you do. Too lazy to get up on a Sunday morning and go down the boot sales for the not bargains. Been that lucky. Well, they've not found much really. Have you no, recently? No. It's not worth shouting about. Um, so I'm probably better off staying in bed and doing all my buying on eBay. And uh, this Wipeout uh, 2097 and Wipeout 3. And uh, again, I kept the original Wipeouts. So I've always had that in my collection. Had these once upon a time. Had to buy them back again. I think these were £25, I think, for the two. So again, not cheap. But again, they're, they're good condition with manuals. This is good. Play fine. And uh, great games to have back in the collection because uh, I mean, I've missed having them. And again, Wipeout's come, come out again on the PS4 recently. Yeah. Um, I bought that. I should just clear that in my pickup because I bought that at the beginning of the month as well. But um, I suppose not really retro, even though it's on the plate. Yeah, it's on the but sort of retro but on PS4 isn't it? You got a special case for it didn't you? I did actually yeah, yeah. I mean if you wanted to go and grab it it's in the other room okay, you can go and grab it and a, show it. That's a, uh, a nudge nudge to go yeah. get it. They're all on top of my PS4 in the other room. Uh, so yeah so I'm really glad to have Wipeout 2097 and Wipeout 3 back in the collection. Love the Wipeout games. Been enjoying it on the PlayStation 4 as well. Um, have you found it James? Dan and Ravi were on about Wipeout. They used to sit. They were talking about it. They used to have it in nightclubs. Did they? You could sit oh, and right. play when. Uh, never yeah, so out. I bought my copy off of Amazon, and comes in a case like that, a normal PlayStation Four case. And then oh, I also ah. bought, also bought the steel right? book version for it, which is odd. They didn't sell it together. It wasn't. Oh, good. where's your manual? Where's your manual? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get manuals these no, days, James. Unfortunately. Go. Um, so yeah. I'm sorry for out. So you had, you had to buy you had to buy the case, the steel book separate. So you, they didn't sell the game with the steel book, which is Why a bit odd. They I don't that? know. Yeah, so you had to buy it separate if you wanted the steel book and then put your disc in it. Because they know people will pay you for it. So you, it didn't cost that much, but there was people actually on Amazon complaining that they, these weren't sort of sealed in any sort of shrink wrap or anything. Oh. So some people got those quite dirty, quite scratched, and Amazon just chucked them in a, their cardboard sort of. Yeah. Cases and some people even have them dented or whatever. Oh dear. So that's how I bought it. I bought the two games, the the game and the the steel book. Then pictures started appearing on um, eBay and on well, first of all actually, it was on Instagram. Uh, people started showing pictures of this like case that looked like the old PlayStation case for it. I thought, hey, someone's got an old PlayStation case. Have they made that? Out? Where did they get that from? Yeah. Uh, then I found out that it was actually just a slip case. You know, like a cardboard slip case mm. for this case. That they sent out to um, independent video store game stores. Okay. So uh, uh, there was certain in, in, sort of independent game stores that had these ah. cases. If I put that on, even though it's just a bit of cardboard, hey, look at it that. does look actually pretty much like a... See that? See how the logo? Look at the side. Original PlayStation case. Like the ones we had in this country. Obviously in the, in the US there's they the, have different sort oh, of style sugar. cases. There's the back. If you can see that. But somebody obviously had too many of those, and then, or they couldn't oh. be bothered to sell them. Yeah, and they, they thought they'd make more money. And they, just, yeah. they sold them for a fiver on eBay, so I picked one up pretty quick because I thought it'd add to the collection. Hey, that's really cool. What a good idea. Come, but it looks really nice. But I know there were certain people that thought it was going to be when they pre, because they did it as a pre-order thing as well. Certain people I know thought it was actually going to be a proper original sort of PlayStation case, but still pretty cool. I like that. So what have you got next, James? Okay, uh, I'm on to, from Sega Chess and I'll play Smash, it's, I'm on to N64 stuff. Oh, here we go. Right. And you love your N64, yeah. you've got quite a collection. I have, so I'm, I'm now on to buying box games. Now this is going to turn into a bit of a rant, because, here what, this game is Lego Racers. There you go. <coughs> now, 
this is what CEX class as mint. Now, I wouldn't call that mint, would you? It's battered. It's not it, terrible, but 40 quid. See, the thing is, I would say it possibly could have been mint when it left them. Because yeah, they just sent yeah, this stuff yeah. out in a jiffy bag. It's crap. If you've got yeah, like these, I mean, if you've got a cardboard case like this, even everyone, even somebody who's not a professional retailer on eBay would usually just think, turns yeah. a bubble wrap around Yeah, right? they would. Well, they'll make a cardboard case out of a piece of cardboard slip would, case to yeah, put it so in. it fits in. And then they put it in the jiffy bag as well, you know, and... And CX just throw these things out in a jiffy bag and expect them to get you in good condition, which is unbelievable. It really. is. And the, the, the people probably that, if, that have to do the packing, oh, God, we've got to do another one of these, and, you know, yeah. might just be thrown together. So it could have um, been could have been when they left then, but... Sort out, CEX. What's it like inside? Not paying is it? 40 quid for an N64 game just it's, because, for the fun of it. Is the manual good? Uh, yeah, the manual is it's come with a manual, so you can't um, add a free bit of polystyrene to bolt the box out. The carts, mm, see, that's not mint. It's scratched. The labels are scratched, <laughs> and the back's got a little bit of a fingernail. Look at, yeah. But, mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just being an ass, but no. Well, the thing was mint. If it's not mint, I see lots of people sort of raving about. Not as lots of, but a few people raving about CX being quite good these days. And I know too, he, he, he orders a lot from them. Um, if, if you don't watch his channel, why not? Because too, he's a great, great guy. Um, sort of guy you've, we've never actually met him, have we? But we feel like we know him, don't we? You know. <laughs> um, and yeah, always no like, do a forty-five minute car boots <laughs> video like Tootie. Yeah, I mean, he does a great job. His, his channel's very popular, so I'm sure most of you watch his, his videos. Um, but he's he gets stuff from CX, and he sort of he has since since you bought this. I've seen him a few times say that he's had a few horror stories and things mm. things that they sent him that weren't quite right. But he doesn't mind changing them and exchanging them and stuff. Well, good for him. Yeah, but um, it's not. I also mean, I've seen him have a few things sent where he didn't ask for mint, and it came in practically was mint. You right. know? Um, and there's a couple of other people that I've seen done videos say they're good, but then since. You had this problem. I mean, I said to you, oh, I ordered something from them actually ages yeah, ago. Yeah, so watch out for their packaging. Yeah, oh, I, I think it was, the, I think I only ordered a 360 game and it came in a jiffy bag. And I thought, if they send those in a jiffy bag, it's going to get crushed and stuff. So um, There is one cool thing to show you about this. Now, what, what, what possibly could this box have in common with Lego other than the game's Lego? Any ideas? It's the only N64 box ever made that has this. And you'll get it as soon as I do this. The front lifts up like Lego does. Ah, that's cool. Ah. So do you remember when you had your Lego kit, it would open yeah, up and you'd see the bits inside? Yeah, and yeah. yeah. So there's um, a scene here. <laughs> Side, can you see that? A sideways scene and a little bit of Velcro. I'm hoping that'll still go in a box protector. Um, I should think it was. Not really a it's got in them, isn't it? different pictures. Yeah. That's cool. I never knew that. Yeah. So it's, it's the only N64 game that, that does that. So while well, we're having a little bit of a run about CEX, my next uh, pick up come from CEX because when you said you'd order something, I've seen a few people say that things were okay from them. Um, and I wanted to sort of give them a try again, see what they were like with their retro games, sending them out. So I wasn't quite as brave as you. I didn't go for a cardboard, something in a cardboard box. I went for a Mega Drive title. I've been looking for a copy of Road Rash, which I got here um, from what CEX. A game. Yeah, brilliant game. Absolutely loved that. Um, and so yeah, so this was advertised as mint. Uh, I think it was only about a tenner though. So, That's right. Yeah, um, and I was looking on eBay at prices, and they were about a tenner, but there wasn't like a, a mint copy or a copy with like a manual. Or there'd be one with a manual, but the box would be a bit tatty. Mm. Uh, so the box, I must give them their due, it's pretty mint. Again, it came in a jiffy bag, so they survived it being a lot harder. Um, the cart is okay, not bad. There's no, no scratches on that. And the label's intact. Uh, manual's pretty mint. If you're going to be picky, there's a couple of indents there, but nothing, nothing major. But... As we were saying with, with your master system cases, <laughs> the hook's missing off the top. Yeah. And I might be being picky, but if I was going to call a, a Mega Drive or Master System game Mint, 
you have to have the hook on the top. I mean, so not too too peed as you know ten. It's about the going rate for for road rash really on eBay and stuff. So, but would have been better if it did have the, the, the top. Did people used to break them off to make them fit on the shelf? They did, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, that's what used to happen. I think people went and they were on the shelf, so they just took them off or cut them off, so they'd fit in the shelves around the fold them over. But then the later boxes, I don't know if you go up on the later boxes, they have like a little indent oh, there. Oh, to fold the flap down. And you can fold it over and oh, it cool. stay in. No, I haven't got any of those, but... I've got a few titles that have got that, that feature, so... While you've got this, yeah. what's the deal with the yellow bit on EA? I don't know where that is. No, I guess they had them made, and it kind of always wobbles a bit, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, whether it was just to make it so that it was harder to copy at the time or something. Mm. Or... If anyone knows why, yeah, I've never, known, I've never known why they've got And those. are there any others that have a bizarre... Oh, Codemasters, they, there's some that have the... What they called the four player games. Oh, yeah, that's where Beast they have extra, Tennis, yeah. they had the extra controllers. I don't know yeah. what they're called. There was but, a certain name for them, wasn't they? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I, I always wondered why that. It kind of looks like yeah. if you pinch it, it'll pull out. Yeah. But, but it doesn't. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's EA branding on the case as well, so I guess they made their own parts <laughs> and made their own cases. Yeah, they did, yeah. Instead of, uh, so that's why I guess they were different. But. Cool. And I can't get it back together. Box or... it shut. <laughs> yeah, um, there we go. Might have if I put the cartridge back in. Now the manual. There you go. Right. Yeah. So. Cool. Right. Um, next up, another N64. And it is Rugrats the Movie. Box complete, pal. This is much better condition than Lego Racers. Is that CEX? This is Chill Out Games. Ah, right, I've heard of Shout out to Chill Out Games because they put this in a very nice box, um, very well packaged, and yeah, this is this is very good, and the cart's nice, and the instructions are nice, and there's no extra stickers or someone's wrote Dave on it to say that they owned it. Um, the cover manual. Yeah, there's a. There we go. Look, it's even got the plastic cartridge. Wrap, yeah, yeah. and I mean, they put like an extra bit, whether or not they've done this or it, that came to them, it's like an extra little protective bit just to add some extra packaging to stop it banging around. So that is much closer to mint than so you see, see, yes, check out, check out games, yeah, check out games, package your games, yeah, they're great. Shout out to them. Do you ever play that game? No, I'm sure it's crap. <laughs> um. But it's another one, and it wasn't it wasn't crazy price either. So yeah, it's not bad. Condition's good. So yeah, it's a, another one off the list. And the cartridge of this is much nicer than my original. So the other one will be on eBay, <laughs> hopefully, and someone will buy it and recruit some of the uh, some of the money. Yeah. But, yeah. So my next pickup again, PS One, uh, is this. I bought one of these. I missed out on one of these a little while ago. Got one. It's a Ridge Racer Type 4 with the Jogcom controller. And uh, what's the controller like? Because I've never used one of those. Well, I've actually I tried using it and it was awful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had to understand maybe it was just me. Maybe the, maybe it wasn't working right for being old. Isn't it? But I suppose it gives you some sort of forced feedback. But I just seemed to be continually fighting it, trying to. That's what it just seemed to went against where you wanted to go, and you had to like fight it back. So what is it like a wheel oh, in I'll the get control? It out. Or yeah, get it out. yeah, let's get it out. If I can uh, find out where you open so it. So where's this from? This is an eBay eBay buy. Oh, cool. Um, about 30, 35 quid, I think it was. So you got you got your game, which is mint with manual. Good. Really nice copy of the game, and then. This just pulls out from the top. You're going to regret me saying that now, aren't yeah. you? And you've got to put all this packaging back together. I'll put it all back together. I've had that for a couple of times. <laughs> uh. So your verdict, verdict is jog very, on yeah. with the jog on. Yeah, it's not very good. That took me minutes to think of that. Wow, that is really weird. Good. Hey, look at this. Lamco. Look at the size of it. Look at the uh, wheel, and so it's kind of like a 
PlayStation. So you can use it as a normal fully. joystick. You've got a mode selector button on there. Um, there's it on there. All right. So if you press it once, it'll be work as a normal joystick. So is that like a? Does that spin round? And that spins round on its own. It's got like a motor in it. All right, I can feel the and resistance. So, yeah, and it, and it starts starts just going again. So you've got your thumb on it like that, and you oh, sort of I get it to now. show, but. It's kind of and like so that's sort of like you want to turn right and that's pulling to the left and you're like pulling to the right you're accelerating with that button when you've got this this mode on and it just it was just like really awkward i just because i like to I like to like obviously like slide around the, the you know the corners you know sort of thing as you're playing and it just seemed to make it really hard to do you had to concentrate on getting the car going straight before you could concentrate on doing any of your uh drifts around the corners wow. and stuff so but yeah i'll have um, to have a go on that yeah yeah well it was so it wasn't my way favorite way of playing it and so i was quite excited to get this and was looking forward to having it go it's great having the collections um nice control with a nice nice box it, looks, sort of thing, <laughs> it but, looks like it's barely been played with yeah there's no finger crud no so you've got to get your toothbrush yeah. out with that but yeah, detail. I wouldn't recommend it as a way of playing Ridge Racer. But if you enjoyed it and you like playing Ridge Racer using this, or if you still do, let us know in the comments because uh, I'd be interested to know how many people did like it. Yeah, I wonder if there's any other games that work well on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether it's just for, for Ridge Racer or whether it's for those. Uh, really couldn't tell you. But yeah, it wasn't a great gaming experience if you ask me. Anyway, <laughs> and I tried it the other week. Never so, mind. You don't know these things, do you? Too? No, you don't. Right, um, my last game is another N64 game, and it is, uh, this is G1 Jockey, which is a Japanese N64 game, and I don't know if you guys ever buy anything from Japan, but in, in Japan, they have, um, they, always, well, they always tend to be very careful with packaging. They don't like fingerprints. On anything and they see it as being dirty or used so they're very careful with their packaging so yeah this is absolutely mint this is what CEX should be using as mint but anyway I'll shut up about that G1 Jockey will I play it probably not will I be able to understand it probably not is that horse racing basically it is right? yeah cartoony horse racing yeah um, and it's a Konami game so yeah, it's interesting, and uh, I only had the cart only before, so now I've got the proper box, and I've not yet taken it out of the packaging, but I do like how they uh, yeah. how they ship these, and that just really packs really well, and that's just from eBay, um, and it was probably about £15 delivered, so only uh, only a couple of thousand yen. Yeah, so it's, it's good, yeah, it? yeah, it's great, and... Just another one off the N64 list. So my last pickup that is actually a game. And it's another box set for the PS1. It's a bit bigger this one. Wow. And it's Time Crisis. What a game. With the G-Con 45. Um, no, I've not actually, I've never actually played it to tell you the truth. And I think I might, was it in the arcade? I think I might have played it in the arcade. Mm, I definitely did. Yeah, but I've um, not played it on the PlayStation 1. And I'm planning on having to go on this at the weekend. Wasn't there one with a pedal as well? Or have I, am I, I dreaming that? Know. Maybe that was... I know it's got on. a button on the side, you press the button to dunk. Mm. Um, I know that much. Um, Action! Yeah, so you have to duck to, or to reload and stuff, I think, mm. don't you? Rather than... Some, some like gun games, you pull it across to the side on yes, the TV to reload. Screen, yeah. Yeah. I think on this, you press the button to duck down and it reloaded the gun. But um, Yeah, so again, it's really good condition. Um, again, I think it was around the thirty-five pound mark. It's not not cheap. These games aren't cheap, but to get them in mint condition, you're not going to find them out in the wild, are you? You're not just going to pop into a charity no. shop and see that sat on the shelf, or go no, down unless your, you're really lucky. Go down your local boot sale and see them just sat there for like a fiver or something, are you? you know? mm. So um, you just got to sort of almost bite the bullet and, <laughs> um, and, and buy these games if you want them back in your collection. Especially, I think with PlayStation One, because I say the prices are rising all the time. So I think uh, these are just going to go up and up and up in value. So, uh, um, and I love how the the gun con is the um, the same as the arcade. 
um, and it's the same, they do different coloured ones, and they for yeah. point blank was it? There was one a coloured, is it pink and green? I think so, yeah. Ones, um, is it, I guess it's just grey from the picture. Yeah. But what a game, I love that. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to having a go at that at the weekend. So I've only got one other pickup, which is in the game, but it's gaming related. And uh, it's this, the very first ever issue of N64 magazine. And uh, so I like my first issues. Um, I've got um, the original, well, the official PlayStation magazine issue one, and my favourite Commodore 64 game, uh, Zap 64. I've got, got the issue one of that twice, actually. Um, I love it so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's, uh, you know, I used to buy this when it came out. Did you buy it back in the day? I think I used to buy. Is it official Nintendo magazine oh, right, system? Yeah, yeah. something um, like that. Yeah, I know what you mean. This is a future publishing mag, so yeah. you know it's going to be quality. And uh, I think we might use it on another video that's coming up, possibly soon. We may go back to doing like the games mag flashback videos that we used to do, but in a different format. And uh, so that might be coming up, and we'll show you guys a closer look at that, possibly in that video if we get round to doing it. This came out in April 1997. So what I've got to have a quick look at, because I love looking at the old adverts. Oh, someone, someone yes. said there's a competition. Yeah, that's the only thing that's wrong with it. It's pretty minute right. apart from that, but you... Uh... Where is... Right, let's have a quick look. They're sat around playing Mario Kart and enjoying it. There's a breakdown of the inside of the N64. So this, I guess, must have come out before the console was... They even talk about the... Oh, look at that. Wow, there's a picture and a half. Look at that. What's that? That is like a... That was like a concept. I guess it's a concept. Yeah, look at that. Concept CD. But, oh, get it on camera. See that just there by my finger? My awful nails that need cutting. Look at that. You don't see that all the time. But yeah, that's, that's the great thing about looking at these old mags because you see all pictures before... You know, marketing pictures, and then they decided, oh no, we're not going to go with that design. Or because sure, I'm sure I had that magazine back in the day, but when you buy it again, you go through it. There's all these things that you you forgot you you seen back in the day, and, you and look what they've done here. Again. They've put the phone numbers for games publishers. Yeah, how cool is that? That's going to ring. I wonder how many people. Oh, when you bring out Donkey Kong Country Two, yeah. oh, can I come and be a games tester for That's you? A, yeah, I bet they love the poor yeah. receptionist. Yeah. Look, I told you, golden eyes not out yet. Bring back. So yeah, just have yeah. a quick flip through because I'm nosy like that. And oh, there's there's some uh, cheats in here. Game, is that game genie codes? Looks like it. Or it'd be action replay running it over here. And yeah. um, I just, what I was trying to find is here we go. These. I just, I loved reading it when I was a kid. Well, the classifiers yeah. are Yeah, and so say I'd be like, oh, I'm saving up for a game for Christmas or birthday. Or See, you've just got saving. your cheapest. Yeah, and you'd flip through, and then just what used to wind me up is the ones that said, they didn't put any prices, they just put um, TBC or yeah. call for price. Yeah, that used yeah. to wind me up, because you still have to ask the parents, can I use the phone, and then you ring up and they go, oh, today's prices, whatever. But, um, yeah, and import stuff here. Anyway, uh, sorry, I won't. So we'll go through that perhaps on another yeah, video. Yeah, I won't go on and on and on all night for that. But yeah, that's a good point. So that's our first ever proper pickups video. And like I say we're going to do one at the end of every month. And it's been a bit of a bumper month this month. Uh, we don't normally quite perhaps buy quite so much. But um, yeah, so we're going to do one at the end. Like I say, at the end of every month, and we shall see how these go down. Whether you guys like them, if you like them, comment and like them. Let us know that you like them, so we keep doing more. Um, and I'm like, quite looking forward to doing them actually at the end of every month, quite enjoyed doing that today. So uh, anyway then guys, it's uh, time for us to go and as always James, what have they got to do? Yeah, thanks for watching and keep it retro. And we will see you again very soon. Bye. A bit lame. <laughs> or should I just go, it's pickups!